I'm George. I'm going to show you how to set up the Irrigation Tank Series of controllers. That's including the C60, the C120 and the C180. These are the contents of the box. The solar panel, in this case the C60. Packing materials. These are the plastic parts that we're going to need. This is the controller itself. Battery. Inlet tube and filter for the micro pump. And the main tube. This is the controller. And this is a bag which contains the hose connectors, the fittings for fixing to the fence or wall, the anti-siphon device, and this is the water sensor. Inside the box, this is the main pump, this is the battery holder, this is a printed circuit board with the switch for controlling it, and this is the micro pump. The first thing I'm going to do is to install the battery. To do that we need to remove the two screws from this plastic cover. Place the battery inside and making sure the control is turned off. Plug the battery in to this terminal here. Then replace the cover. To connect the hose connectors, take the red plugs out of the pump, screw in. and tighten up. Right, we're now ready to put the controller in its final position. These are the fixing screw holes here. And we're ready to go. Right, to, to assemble the solar panel We've got two sets of brackets. Each side of the solar panel needs one of, from each of those pairs and the bracket is going to fit on like this. So the first step is to use the nuts and bolts provided to attach the bracket to the solar panel. The next step is to fit this part of the bracket here. Final nuts into here yet. We need to fix it in position and in order to do that we're going to be able to fold these up like this. Right, I'm now setting the angle of the solar panel by putting the bolt through the little hole there and then the wing, wing nuts on the end. Right, now I'm going to plug the solar panel into the controller and there is a 5 meter optional extension cable if you need it. Right, having got the solar panel and the controller in position please note that the controller needs to be low enough that there's a flooded inlet to the pump and the solar panel needs to be in a sunny position. Next we're going to install the foot strainer which protects the pump from bits of muck in the barrel, in the tank 
and we're going to install the filter which protects the drippers. Before we install the dripper we need to put the hose tail connectors on either end. Now that we have the filter connected up to the pump, which is down here, and which is lower than the level of the water in the tank, we have connected another pipe to the pump outlet. This comes up to a T here, and there's a branch going through this valve, which runs back to the tank, and this valve is used for regulating the pressure in the delivery lines, which are coming each way from this T up here. We've also installed the anti-siphon device here. This needs to be higher than the level of the water in the barrel. And what it does is it prevents water from siphoning from the tank to the plants when the pump stops. I'm now going to show you how we fit the various components together. The large components like the elbows, the big valves and the T's, we push into the pipe. smaller components which we need for attaching the irrigation systems mean require a punch hole and then we can push the component in this case a valve into the tube or if a valve isn't required a nipple. The irrigation kit can then be connected using the four millimeter pipe supplied with it by pushing that on firmly. In your installation, the valve connection may perhaps go to a kit of microporous hose and the end valve one may go to a dripper kit. Now that we've completed our irrigation layout with the drippers in place and the microporous hose in place, we're going to go through the startup procedure for the unit. First of all, ensure that this valve is wide open. That is, when the handle is in line with the pipe. Next, switch the pump on. Then, while the pump is running, very slowly turn this valve back until the drippers are dripping at about one drip per second and the microporous hose is full of water but quite soft like a half inflated bicycle tube. In this installation we fitted the filter so that it's higher than the tank. In most installations this is going to be lower than the water in the tank in which case a valve needs to be fitted between the tank and the filter so that the water could be turned off when the filter is cleaned. The filter should be cleaned every week or two depending on the condition of the water in your tank. In order to clean the filter, unscrew this barrel, remove the elements, clean it while rinsing under running water, then ensuring that this red plastic bit is at the top, reinstall it. That was showing you how to use a foot strainer in the tank with the pipe coming out through the top of the tank to your pump. There are also drawings on the internet on our website showing you how to install it using the valve at the bottom of your tank.